Uh, the baked potato has quite a rep. What's the story behind how it started? It was originally opened back in 1970 by my father, Don Randy. He's a jazz keyboard player and studio musician. He originally opened it so that the studio guys in L.A. could have a place to come and jam. And it turned into a nearly 40-year Los Angeles mainstead. You get so many top-notch musicians here. What do they tell you they like about playing here? Well, this, this club has a lot of history in Los Angeles, and it goes back to when you know the heavyweights of you know, nearly 40 years ago started playing here. And many musicians that are famous now started here when they weren't famous, like Larry Carlton, Lee Rittenauer, Steve Lukather. These are all guys who started when they weren't famous, and now obviously they're the ones with the Grammys. So there's a lot of, a lot of loyalty to the club because it's been a musician's club all along. A lot of them play here on a regular basis. Name some of them who nearly consider this a home away from home. That, absolutely. That, that's kind of the thing about L.A. It's as big of a city as it is. The musician community is quite small. And, um, you know, this is, this is where they come and hang out and play. I mean, this is definitely like their backyard. You feature a lot of jazz musicians here. Is that your focus here? Not mainly. It's basically jazz on every, every instance that it, that it, you know, every incarnation there is. You know, from straight ahead to fusion, to heavy fusion. I mean, this is a room where most guys wouldn't, there isn't a room for them. And this is what we provide. It's basically finding the highest level of musicians and putting them in the room and putting them up on stage. As a musician yourself, what are your personal musical interests? Well, you know, I have a big open, I, I, I'm, I'm open to all music. Short of perhaps rap, but even some of that, I I can I can see what the attraction is. But I'm I, I love all music. I wouldn't be in this business if I didn't. How do you go about choosing who will perform here? It's very very difficult. And there's a lot to it. It's, it takes a lot of time. I mean, there's only 365 days a year, and that's only you know there's a, and we have to close on Christmas. So you know, it really makes it difficult every month. You know. To, to get everybody in and then still put in a new band every try to get at least one in every month to give them a start because that's how the club is you know keeps going is by always giving somebody a start and building up a new band all along do you ever plan to expand it or do you, or do you think there's a danger of losing the magic yeah in this room you know I can modify and, and repair and do certain things but you know I, we've had a couple other baked potatoes which do that and they've had their runs and then we move on but this is the original one and it'll, it'll always be here and as far as changing it or expanding this room probably not but um, if I open another one it'll be maybe bigger I've done that a couple times and, and those go well but never it's not like this place what's the most challenging thing about running a musical venue dealing with all the politics of all these wonderful guys <laughs> You would think they'd just be happy-go-lucky, but they're just not. It's, there's every day, you know, dealing with them and their personalities. I, I've learned to do it, and um, it's an art form, definitely. Do you have any favorite stories about people who have played here? I'm not allowed to tell them. I'm not at liberty to disclose those things. They're kind of secrets, but <laughs> they're, they're, there are many stories that probably shouldn't be out there. But as far as great stories, we've had some of the most incredible nights of music that, you know, exist. And it just happened here because of who happened to be here. Do you think there's enough music venues around like yours, even in the L.A. area? There, there none. There's none. I mean, there, as far as jazz clubs, there's three premier ones in L.A., us, Catalina's and the Jazz Bakery. And those two, the bakery is a nonprofit, and Catalina's is what she does, you know. And... You know, as far as the baked potato, there's one baked potato, and that's why, you know, Kevin Eubanks is playing here tonight. You know, it's just, it's why it's here, because, you know, we cater to these high-level musicians. It's where they play. Yeah. The baked potato isn't just a name for the name's sake. Tell us about the potatoes that you are, that you feature here. Yes, we do serve baked potatoes, enormous baked potatoes. They're hand-sorted and picked from Idaho. They're brought here. They're enormous. They're all over a pound, so... It's quite a meal, and the prices are fantastic here. So, I mean, you're getting not only, you know, it's mainly about the music, but if you're hungry, we serve food all night till 1 in the morning, so you can come late, you know, and eat late and hang out. Where can people learn more about the baked potato? 
of course, all you have to do is put it in on the web, and there's you know pages and pages, and we have our website, of course, thebigpotato.com, which is obviously that's the main the main website for the club. But all you have to do is punch it up on any 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 search engine, and there's going to be pages of information about the club.